Alright, this is the final week of the Halloween event, so we're gonna move quickly with this one, yeah? So, the Herbomancer challenge is pretty easy if you shrink yourself to the minimum height. Basically, the whole gist of it is that your movement controls will be swapped around every couple of seconds, and if you're underneath everything that you could normally walk into to fall down, then you're not gonna walk into anything to fall down. Um, so yeah, just get really small and follow whatever path looks easier to you. Uh, at the very end here, there'll be a big pit, and if you jump down and follow the left wall, uh, just hold on to it pretty much, hug the left wall, and you'll get the sunrise soda for this week. Um, you will know when your movement controls are being inverted, because obviously you slow down a lot beforehand, so probably take your time whenever you're about to jump down. And uh, yeah, after that, just fall back into the hole again, and you'll get the headhunter, which is a neat 300 blackout rifle, but... Um, it's like, it shoots like once every minute because you have to chamber each shot, so I'm not gonna use it, but it's a fine looking gun, so, uh, yeah. On to the next challenge, being the Hydromancer challenge. Now this is another fun one, it's basically just Flood Escape, um, and there's really not much more I can say other than it's easier to do with two or three people as opposed to just one, but it's still definitely possible solo. It might take a few attempts though, so definitely give it a little bit of practice, but you'll be rewarded with the Trident uh, T-72 Ulf, uh, and that's a name right there. This is a neat laser rifle, although I will be honest, uh, when I said this looks more out of club boats than ATF, um, but yeah, I don't know, it's a fine rifle. Lastly, the ultimate prize for this Halloween event is obtained after getting every item from the event, so link in the description to a playlist containing pretty much every item so far, and also this video will be released alongside a video detailing every single ghost spawn uh, from the event, so if you're struggling with that, go check out that video because that's got probably every single ghost spawn, uh, and if it doesn't have actually every single ghost spawn, then it's close enough. So yeah, for all of your hard work, you'll get a cross between the COD Raygun and the Spaz-12, and this thing I guess packs a punch. Um, Pun not intended, but <laughs> I just now see what I did there, and that's pretty funny. So, yeah, uh, subscribe for that, please. Uh, I'm not sure if I love it or hate it, but I'm probably going to end up using it, and that concludes this year's Halloween event. So, looking back over everything, I'd say most of the challenges, even if they were expansions of ideas from years past, most of them were done pretty well. So, I don't know. Like, a lot of them were pretty good, excluding the Alchemist's challenge, because, like... Honestly, I had no idea that you could even match color in the first place. I just thought you had to go in and do the algebra, which, I mean, it's not very difficult, but I feel like that should have been made a little bit more clear. Um, but yeah, otherwise, Ghost Hunt is a unique concept building on the safe hunt, but I don't know. While it worked with the safe hunt because there was only one safe per game, Wintertide could really just use a ghost meter or something like that going forward. Nothing crazy, but just something to tell you that, oh yeah, you have, say, five of eight ghosts. Um, because whenever I first did the ghost hunt for the first week, I honestly thought that I was bugged when I was looking around the whole map for a single ghost that I happened to miss. Um, and yeah, I, I feel like that could really just be worked on. But, I don't know, that's just my thoughts. Um, so yeah, next video is looking pretty good. So, here's, uh, here's... Here's a uh, little encrypted, uh, encrypted sneak peek here, um, and yeah, uh, good luck if you need ghosts, video on that dropped with this one, so go check that out, and yeah, thanks for watching.